The aim of Work Package 3 is to deliver new virtual reality controller designs for the Prime VR2 platform. It's focused on the use of additive manufacture, building parts layer by layer to create compliant structures that will allow users to perform their rehabilitation exercises effectively. It also makes use of computational approaches to integrate the user scan data into the design process. The work package is led by the University of Strathclyde in Glasgow, Scotland, which will be contributing to the design methodology, housing production and testing, and user evaluation. The other main contributor is Loud One Design, a design consultancy that's also based in Glasgow. They have a track record of advanced product form development and integrating this into meaningful products and services, and are leading the housing design and development. There are three main activities that have been undertaken up to now. Firstly, we've tested a set of 3D printed lattice samples. We've constructed a rig that allows for the real-time analysis of these and for the results to be integrated within the computer-aided design environment. Secondly, we've undertaken conceptual design and development for the controllers. We are aiming to produce three different categories of controller for different use cases identified in the project. We've received expert input from the Project Living Labs, as well as holding review sessions across the project team. Thirdly, we've developed a workflow that will allow for bespoke computer-aided design models to be constructed based on the user scan data. This algorithmic approach allows us to produce designs that are bespoke for each individual user. In summary, Prime VR2 is an opportunity for us to extend our knowledge in additive manufacturing principles and processes in a use case with high levels of benefit to society. It's also a great opportunity for us to collaborate with a wide range of partners and we're excited to see how the controllers are used in an integrated platform in the coming months.